Good morning. We're here in sunny Northamptonshire and we're out squirrel hunting. Now this doesn't look like a late November day. Beautiful bright sunshine and it's actually caught me a little bit by surprise. Today I'm wearing my Deer Hunter Mouflon long winter jacket expecting to be sat in the cold for a little while but I don't think that's going to be the case today. The grey squirrel population in this area is exploding in recent years and really needs to be brought under control. It's a very important part of the woodland management programme here on the estate. So they've asked me to come along and see if we can make a dent in them. So we've got everything we need, we charged up the air cylinder, so we should have plenty of shots in there for the day. And now it's a matter of getting out into the woods, sitting by the feeder and seeing what comes out. Now today I'll be using an Air Arms S510 Ultimate Sporter. This is the high power version. I brought that today because I don't know the distances over which I'm going to be shooting. So now there isn't a huge amount of wind here, but there is a little bit, and a squirrel's quite a small target. So we could be taking shots between 35 and maybe up to 50 yards. Having a high power gun just gives you that little bit extra length and also takes out the issue of wind, particularly in and around trees where there can be some movement. Through that we're shooting the Air Arms Diablo Field pellets in 177 caliber. And on top of that, I've got my Hawk Air Max 4 to 16 by 50, fantastic scope, 30 mil tube, illuminated reticle, and the AMX reticle inside there as well. So lots of different aim points for different distances. So you can just shoot intuitively, pick the right line on the crosshair, and then take your shot. And I'm going to be hopefully spotting the squirrels through this. This is a Pulsar Helion XP50 thermal imager. Now this is quite useful. Squirrels are quite small, so for sitting in a high seat over a feeder, actually looking through the brush and the undergrowth to see squirrels approaching can be quite useful. Gives you a little bit more time to get prepared, ready for when they step out and jump onto the feeder. So it's been an interesting morning. We've been out here for a couple of hours. We've not seen anything from the high seat. We sat up there first off looking over one of my deer feeders that we've put out to concentrate the muntjac at this time of year. But the bush here is very, very thick. Now I've picked up a couple of squirrels on the thermal, but unfortunately, because of the dense undergrowth, as soon as I was trying to look through the scope, they've disappeared. So in some ways it's a great tool, in other ways it can be slightly frustrating. But there's no point sitting out here for too long. Clearly the, the squirrels are in on the bird feeders and we don't want to make too much noise and disturb the undergrowth here. There's still shoots here and of course we want to come back next week for, for Munchak and don't really want to be pushing them too, around too far. So there's another couple of sections of woodland that have pheasant feeders in them that are in slightly more open areas and we're going to have a quick look at those. So there we have it, the first success of the day. As you can see, this woodland is a lot more open than the one we were in previously, and this is where we've got feeders set up for the pheasants. As we walked up, pretty much knew what was gonna be here. Big fat squirrel sat right on the top of this leg here on the feed bin. Only about a 25 yard shot, so bread and butter really for the ultimate sporter. Took the shot on that one, fell straight down. 
and then a little bit further away, about another 20 yards away, there's another squirrel started running up the tree at the same time. Quick reload, that's the great thing about using this side lever action. It's great to cycle, pellet straight in there, another shot, and then the squirrel comes straight down again. Sometimes all you need is a bit of a change of scenery, but they're gonna be where the food is. This is what these feeders are for. This holds the pheasants into these areas of woodland during the winter because all the other food sources are dead. Of course, there's no insects and there's no fresh shoots or fresh growth at this time of the year. So the pheasants really need this to, to hold them in the same area, make shoot, sure the shoot works. So when you've got a bunch of voracious squirrels tucking away in there, as well as the muntjac deer in the forest, very quickly these feeders can get emptied, which means that the additional cost to running the shoot and also a lot more work uh, for the gamekeeper to keep them topped up. These ones are looking pretty healthy, so it looks like they've been fed recently, and we've done our job here, taking another couple of squirrels out. So there's another area of woodland just across the way from us, there's some more feeders in there, and I think we're going to go and check that out now. Perfect shot, perfect headshot. Not as big in the body as the other ones that we've seen, but nicely killed. So what started out to be a reasonably quiet start is starting to accelerate into a pretty good day. That's number four, as you've seen here, a perfect headshot. The S510 Ultimate Sporter is an incredibly accurate rifle. It's a tack driver, really. A lot of the shots, the distance of the shots aren't too far, you know, 30 to 40 yards. This was 40 yards, so pretty much bang on my zero. A couple of the earlier squirrels I had to take aim a little bit low, about an inch low. They're about 25 to 30 yards. But as long as you know your aim points and you've got the markings and the scope so that you know where to aim for, then it's pretty straight forward. Now these ones here in this wood don't seem to be as big as the ones that we had in the far side. Maybe it's a quality of feeding or maybe it's a little bit more sheltered. And there's quite a few more I've seen on the thermal in here. So of course we've got this one and that one when we first walked in the wood, but as you can see they seem to like it quite a lot in here. So we've got four down, sun's starting to go down in the sky, probably only got about another hour's worth of daylight before we need to pack up. So I think the best thing we can do now is there's a high seat over there that I use for the deer management here on the estate. It's a lot of muntjac deer. Go and sit in that. It's quite near a couple of feeders and see if anything comes out and gives us a shot a little bit later on. But so far it's been an amazing day and yeah, what magnificent scenery this is. Great sport, great countryside, you couldn't really ask for more. And so it's been a spectacular day, both in terms of the weather conditions and also a successful squirrel hunt. Now the Air Arms S510 Ultimate Sporter is a very reliable, very accurate air rifle. So I knew I was gonna get good performance from it. Uh, same again with the Air Max 4 to 16 by 50 scope. You know, it was one of Hawk's best, perfectly suited for small game hunting. But the real star of the show today, I have to say, has been this, the Pulsar Helion XP50. Thermal imaging really does take the guesswork and the energy out of spotting game. If it wasn't for the Helion, we certainly wouldn't have been able to shoot the last two squirrels in this wood here. Uh, of course, the, the first two, the large ones in the other wood, they were just sat on the feeders or, or on the trees next door, so they're pretty easy to spot. But as you're walking through, taking the time to scan the area with a thermal, really helps to pick out the animals against the backdrop. The squirrel's fawn colouring fits really well against the trunks and the branches of the trees. And a couple of times as we'd spotted squirrels, 
thermals. I'd look through the thermal, very clearly red, very clearly identifiable. Look through the scope and it just looked like a knot or a sticking out the top of the branch. So, you know, without this, I don't think we'd have been as successful. Uh, but once again, you know, it's a great day. Uh, just being out here is a, a real privilege. Uh, not everybody gets to do it and we get to do it during the school day as well, which is it's great fun. But the weather's starting to come in now. I can feel it's starting to get cold in the air. There's not many pheasants in here and the feeders uh, don't look like they're being hit in this wood particularly as much. So I think it's a good time now to get packed up, go and grab a coffee and head for the hills. But yeah, another fantastic day out in the countryside.